everyone, so today I'm gonna be showing you what's in my bag. And I haven't done a what's in my bag video. If you are an OG subscriber, you know, <laughs> you know it's been, like I think it was 2015, I think, when I did a what's in my carry-on bag. But back in those days, everyone, like you weren't doing YouTube unless you did a what's in my bag video. So uh, it's been, it's been a long time. And I've definitely changed my what's in my bag game over the years, especially finishing my degree and having to go on campus and switch bags a lot. I was just trying to find a system that was easy, that worked for me and be more organized and it's still a work in progress, but I've definitely improved. Also, about a month ago, the team over at Teddy Blake reached out to me and asked if I'd like to pick out a handbag to try out and review for you guys. And I love handbags and switching out handbags and trying new handbags. So I was like, uh, yeah, I would love to try one of your handbags. Also, when Teddy Blake sent over this bag, to review for you guys. They were kind enough to send over a second bag for me to offer in a giveaway. So I'm giving away one bag that looks just like this. All of the rules for the giveaway will be down in the description box for you, but it's gonna run very similar to the last giveaway we did, um, which is basically you need to be over the age of 18 to enter and a US resident. And then after that, just subscribe to me here on YouTube, Follow me over on Instagram, which my handle is Jade Libra. I'll also have that linked in the description as well. And then head over to this photo right here. I'll show you which photo it is so you know which one to go to. It may, right now it's gonna be the latest photo, like the one I just posted, but if you're watching this a couple days later, it will be an old photo, so this is the one. Head to this photo, go down to the comments, and let me know your one must-have thing that you carry around with you in your handbag. So I don't know, maybe it's chapstick, or I don't know, perfume, or whatever it is, deodorant, whatever it is that you have to have in your handbag, and then you are entered to win. So yeah, good luck to those who are entering, and let's dive into this bag, shall we? So when I was on the Teddy Blake website, picking out a handbag. They have a ton of different handbags, first of all, no matter what your style is. Dark aesthetic, sporty, girly, whatever you, whatever. They have a little something for everyone. And for me, my most used handbags are larger handbags, just because I can use them for so many different purposes. So that is why I chose this one. This is the Teddy Blake Eliza Vitello 12 inch bucket bag. It is a bucket style bag. It is 12 inches. They also have a nine inch one. So if you are not into the large and in charge bags, uh, they do have a smaller version. I chose the 12 inch because I really wanted to fit my iPad Pro in there. And the iPad Pro is pretty large. Like if you wanna look at it in comparison to my head, it is a large and in charge device. So the iPad fits perfectly in this 12 inch bag so you don't just see it sticking out from a mile away you know what i mean the bag itself is this really nice structured leather and it's got this really sleek smooth look to it which i really love and then you have the drawstring at the top so you get that kind of bucket vibe and like i said the leather is really structured which i love in this bag and it's one thing that really stood out to me with this bag actually, because when I put this in a grocery cart or I put it in my, the front seat of my car or on the floor of my car, uh, wherever I put this, it's structured enough to where it stands up on its own. So it's not like you set it down and then it folds over itself or it slouches down to where basically it just opens up. And I chose the black and red color. So the outside is a matte black structured leather. And on the inside is the red leather, which you'll see a little bit more later. Also, the quality of this bag was really noticeable the moment I opened it. I had never actually seen, touched, ever like actually used a Teddy Blake bag before. So I had no idea what it was gonna look like or what the quality was gonna be like when I got it. And I opened it and even my husband was standing there and he's like, whoa, that's nice. And I'm like, I know, because the leather just stands out. It just, it's this matte black structured leather, which is so up my alley. The strap on this is really nice. Love this little studded look on it, but this is actually where you can adjust it. So for this one, you can either wear it on your shoulder or you can adjust the strap and do a crossbody situation. And for me, I am a crossbody girl. It's either gotta be crossbody or backpack or I'm not wearing it. Like I just don't reach for it. Also, another thing that stood out to me with the bag is on the inside, there are no pockets. 
uh, which actually, surprisingly, I ended up loving because the inside of the bag is leather as well, so it's super easy to keep clean. So if you have a spare eyeliner that just escapes from the depths of your purse and marks up your purse, or maybe a piece of gum gets stuck, it's leather so you can just wipe it up really easily and clean the inside of your bag, which I love about this bag. But they do make up for the lack of pockets on the inside by including this little pouch with the bag. And the pouch can either hold your phone or your keys or whatever it is that you want it to hold that normally goes on the inside of the pockets. Or you can actually use it as a clutch because it is detachable. So you can just take the strap off of the little pouch or you can take it off of the actual strap of the handbag if that makes sense at all but i love that because when i'm traveling i can have a larger bag for the airplane with all of my things in it but i can also have a clutch for the trip if i'm wanting to carry around something small i guess this would actually be a really good place to start for what's in my bag so you can see what i actually keep in this i've been using it uh, to supplement for a side pocket. So I have my keys in this little pouch and I actually really love it because this pouch is larger than most pockets on the inside of purses. Some side pockets won't even hold my keys. And now that I have it open, you can see that the inside of the clutch also has the red leather accent and it has a little wrist strap thing. And on my keys, by the way, I have this little, I have this Alexander McQueen little keychain with the skull. And I also have this creep on keychain that I got from the psychedelic cherry, which I just posted a little haul thing. And that's where I got that. Right, also, how I organize my bag, I guess I should have mentioned this first. Back when I was on campus several days a week, I would have a backpack or a big messenger bag type of thing, but I only used that bag for school. But regardless, I started taking all of these little makeup bags, cosmetic bags that I had, ipsy bags, uh, bags that I got with makeup brushes, those types of things. So I had a bunch of them just laying around, not serving any purpose. So I took a bunch of them and gave them themes. I had one that had pencils and pins and highlighters in it, and then one that had all my essentials, one that had snacks in it, like all of the different things. So that way when I was going from my college life to my running errands life, uh, I could just grab whatever bag I needed out of my backpack and easily transport it into my purse. So that is what actually changed my life and how I organized my purse. So I guess I'll start with this guy here. All right, so this bag here is my entire life. Like this is the one that goes with me in every bag, just about every bag, as long as it will fit. It's just a black snakeskin cosmetic bag. I think it came with makeup brushes. I can't remember which ones, but I believe this came with makeup brushes. But regardless, inside of it, we have a lot of things. First of all, pepper spray, this bright pink pepper spray, which I got from Target. I maybe shouldn't point this at my eye. I uh, also have a hand sanitizer, CBS little hand sanitizer. This is a must have during flu season. Uh, what else do we have in here? I have a Shout Wipe and Go Instant Stain Remover. I don't think I've ever used this and I've definitely spilled stuff on myself 5,000 times and this still, nope, still didn't use it. Uh, oh, this lotion, which is, this is from last year and I hope they do this scent again this year, but this is the Hemp's Triple Moisture Sweet Red Pear and Vanilla Spice. This was from their holiday collection last year and oh my gosh, it smells so good. Mm, it's like, <laughs> just went up my nose. Mm, definitely spicy, I can feel it in my nostril. It smells like something specific to me. No, it smells like apple cider. That's what it smells like. It smells like apple cider with cinnamon, like a cinnamon stick in it. That's what this smells like. And it's one of those hand lotions where if I forgot to wear deodorant or forgot to put perfume on, I'll just put this on my hands really quick just to kind of disguise the BO smell. And it just overpowers it. And everyone's like, ooh, that smells so good. What is that? And then you, you're no longer the smelly person. That's, that's the whole idea. Anyways, we're not sharing too much information. I have 
some Altoids. These are the little mini ones. I don't even know where I got these, but little mini Altoids. These came in handy in school, I will tell you that. Because, you know, when you have to work in a group and you're breathing on everyone, this, was, this came in handy. All right. Oh, I got another lotion. Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Lotion. I never use this one. Maybe I should start using it so I can get through it. But I don't even remember what it's like. What does it smell like? Let's try not to get it up my nose. Nothing. It smells like absolutely nothing. <laughs> Anyways, if you're sensitive to scents, this one's a good one, I'm assuming. Because it doesn't smell like anything at all. Okay. Also, a pen here, it's a pen. This is a bandeau pen and it says, hey girl, hey on it. Let's see if we can't get it to say, it says, hey girl, hey on it. Uh, whoa, I'm gonna need that back. Okay, also some dollars. I didn't know there were dollars in here. Some stray dollars. My organized life is obviously not going too well. What do we got? Five dollars, woo, what else? Some chapstick, oh we got two different types of chapstick. We have this, a hair, <laughs> uh, this, another hair, same hair, wait, okay. Also, two different types of chapstick. We have the chapstick brand candy cane flavor, scent, type, whatever. I uh, love the chapstick brand, this is actually my go-to. This is literally the only one that works on my lips and doesn't make them look like wrinkly worms. Uh, but fun fact, when I was a kid, I used to eat my dad's cherry chapstick. So there's that. I was weird even then. Okay. And then the other one is the Burt's Bees Pumpkin Spice Moisturizing Lip... Why did I say that weird? Moisturizing Lip Balm. It smells... does not smell at all like pumpkin spice. It smells like... It smells good, but not like pumpkin spice. Also in here, I recently added this to the mix. This is the Welly brand First Aid on the Go. Love this whole idea. So it's just a little tin box. I got this from Target. And then you open it and you have some band-aids, an antiseptic wipe, and a little bit of antibiotic ointment. So for me, usually I'm breaking a nail, like this one I smashed in a door the other day, living a clumsy life, so I'll probably need that eventually. Or no, what would happen is I wouldn't have that and then I would need it. That's, that's what definitely would happen. Also, got some uh, tampons. I have a variety and I usually keep a couple for me and then always an extra for someone else because you never know. Like I feel like it's tampon karma where you ask enough people for tampons and they come through for you, you eventually have to come through for other people and pay it forward or else the tampon karma will come back at you and one day you're really gonna need one and no one's gonna have it. I don't even know if tampon karma is the thing but I feel like it should be a hashtag. <laughs> but regardless, I have tampons. All right, so what else? I also have a mechanical pencil. Don't worry, it is number two. And a pink Sharpie in there. No, highlighter. What? And this, oh, I have a also <laughs> a Tide on the go. Tide, sorry, to go pin. Once again, I've stained a lot of things and have never used these. Also, I have two of these Ricola Echinacea Honey Lemon Cough Drop Throat Drops. These things are amazing and you never know, like for me, whenever I get a cold or I start getting one, it hits me out of the blue and I'll just get a sore throat or like my voice gets really hoarse. So these always come through. I forever keep these in my bag. Also this Luna bar, this is a coconut dipped, no, chocolate dipped coconut Luna bar. And I always carry one of these or some sort of snack bar or snacks because I do have celiac disease and I don't always know. First of all, if I need a snack or I get hungry, a lot of times it's not just as easy as stopping into a, uh, you know, like a gas station or fast food or something like that because most of it is not gluten-free at all. So I always have something on me or if I'm at a friend's house and they don't have anything, that's really fine. I always try to take care of myself because I don't expect anyone else to cater to me. It's not like it is what it is, okay. Also have Tylenol Extra Strength. I love these little things. And I usually just get one, like I'll get this one, and then I just refill it with the Tylenol that I have. So that way it I don't have to go buy another small little thing. But these things are amazing. 
I never had these things with me until, I don't know, maybe a year or so ago. And I never realized how nice it was having Tylenol on the spot. So if you have headache or cramps or whatever it is, you have some on you. So yeah, that is my essentials bag has everything I need. And even if I'm carrying a little clutch, I might even put this in my car because it has everything I need. All right, next up in this bag, which I feel like Mary Poppins doing this, but I have my iPad Pro, which like, I feel like this is never ending because this feel like it's such a large item to remove from a purse. But that's exactly why I was wanting this bag and the size that I got. So this is my iPad Pro. Sorry about the glare. I'll try not to let that happen. This is what I use a lot for, not exclusively for editing photos, but I will do some editing and touching up and things like that with my iPad because I can use the pencil to really get in there and hone in on some edits. Uh, also, I use this in uh, college to take notes or if I'm at a meeting. I also use it for like little artsy things like I draw on this or I do some typography or calligraphy or whatever you want to call it. Right, next up in my bag, I have some shears, my hair cutting shears, my Joelle shears, which I did my mom and my stepdad's hair today. So that's why these are in here. I normally don't keep my shears in my purse. They just happen to be in there today. But yeah, it just has my shears and my texturizing shears in here. And it is the grossest, dirtiest, hairiest thing. I don't even know if I want to show you the inside because it, it needs to be cleaned out bad. Uh, but I have a comb. I have two different types of shears. These are my Joelle shears right here. Uh, and then I have some texturizing shears and just my really, really old, old, old shears. These are the first shears I got out of hair school. I still have them because I still use them sometimes. Graduated hair school back in 2006. <laughs> and I think that's the same year I got these. So I, this little pouch has taken quite a beating. And I still, I don't do hair in a salon anymore, by the way, if you are new here or you just have never watched a video where I talked about it. I don't do hair anymore in a salon, but I still do hair. I still keep my license, first of all. And I still do all my family members' hair, my husband's hair. I taught him how to do my hair. So I use those shears a lot still. Um, all right, next I have this little pouch, this little Libra coin purse pouch thing. This is actually a Rebecca Minkoff pouch. I may have even mentioned it in a haul or a favorites video years ago, maybe. I don't know if I did or not, but but I got this at Nordstrom Rack several years back and it's just a black leather pouch that says Libra on it in gold. So in this little pouch, I keep charging cords. So I have a phone charging cord. This is actually a newer charging cord that came from, it's from my old phone with a little charger guy. And I uh, just have that in case I need to charge my phone, whether on a computer or with an outlet or whatever it is. And this really came in handy in my backpack in college as well uh, for my iPad, for my phone. So also my bag, once again, feeling like Mary Poppins. Um, I have my wallet and this is the same wallet I used or showed you or had in my what's in my carry-on bag. So this is a Louis Vuitton wallet. I don't even know the style of the wallet. Uh, I will link it in the description box if I can find it for you. Uh, but I got this years ago while I was in Paris and I still love it. This wallet has been the best wallet for my, like, my needs. It actually forces me to be organized. So um, the wallet is just the brown Louis Vuitton monogram canvas all the way around and then the inside, let me see if I can, I don't wanna show you all my credit card numbers on here. All the card holders are here. So I put all of my, you know, credit cards, driver's license on the main area. And then these are mainly my gift cards at the top or any sort of like Ikea card, membership cards, those kind of things, Top Golf apparently. And in the store, they actually had an option where you can engrave your initials on the inside of the wallet. So this is, I got JG because I maybe was a little ahead of myself, but I thought I would marry my husband for sure. He wasn't even my husband yet. I'm that kind of freak. I'm like, he was probably like, run. I'm just kidding. So yeah, got the gold engraved initials on it. And then you can close this wallet. This is what I love so much about it because I can't keep anything organized to save my life. You can clasp the wallet together so it doesn't hang open. The cards don't fall out everywhere, which I need. And then there's a zipper pouch right here where you put your cash. 
So you can actually access your cash or whatever it is if you want to put your driver's license in here too. Like if you didn't want to open your whole wallet and have all your cards out, you can just put it in here when you're going out in the town or whatever. So I love this wallet. This serves so many purposes and has lasted so long. It still looks like it's brand new. All right, what else is in here? I think we just have one more pouch left, which is this rose looking rose print cosmetic pouch. This one I got, this is a Sonia Kashuk one that I got from Target several years ago. And this one is mainly my whatever I'm wearing for the night or day thing. So, so whatever lipstick I'm wearing, which I didn't end up putting in here, but whatever lipstick I'm wearing or anything I need to touch up, any powder or a hairspray, like travel hairspray or setting sprays or whatever will actually go in this pouch. And so this one doesn't go with me everywhere unless, you know, I need it to, but this is the one that like I, if I have a big enough purse, I will definitely put it in there, especially in the summertime because you'll see what's in here. So I open up my little pouch and the first thing in here is my trusty wolf thorn. If you are OG, you know about wolf, I almost knocked off my hat. But if you're an OG subscriber on here, you know about the wolf thorn that I have to say like wolf thorn, like <laughs> how weird. Uh, okay, so years ago, one of my favorite videos, I mentioned wolf thorn. This is an Old Spice deodorant called wolf thorn. And it, it doesn't have an antiperspirant or anything like that. So if you're anti antiperspirant, then you should definitely try this because it smells like a, like a gummy worm. Apparently I really like that smell because you'll see something coming up that also smells like gummy worms, but it smells like, like literally a gummy worm or something um, like a gummy worm. <laughs> and it's so funny to me because the name of the deodorant is Wolf Thorn. It sounds so tough and almost like you should be like in some sort of medieval movie wearing bear skin and uh, have a beard and traveling through rough terrain or something like that is what it really sounds like to me. But then oddly enough, it smells like gummy worms. You know what I mean? Which is just hilarious to me. Also in here, in this little pouch, I have a perfume and this one is the Gucci Guilty. Look how dirty, it's so gross. Uh, whoops, watch my cleaning videos and trust me. <laughs> but this is the Gucci Guilty uh, perfume. I almost said hairspray, I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, this stuff, first of all, I love it because it's kind of enclosed in this metal uh, packaging. So it doesn't, I feel like it won't break easily. So other perfumes I feel like don't travel well. This one does travel really well in your purse or just in your car. And then uh, it just looks like this. This once again, to me has an undertone of gummy worm. That's why I love this. I don't know what it is about this, but it's a very light kind of like it's not a super uh what do you call it? abrasive scent i just spit everywhere it's it's pleasing to the nostrils so it's not super intense it's just a really nice easy i call it scent because it's just really like it's not like unlikable it's not anything you know whatever but i really like this and i'm working on finishing it up if you have any perfume recommendations it comes in a package that's easy to travel with like it's not super breakable or flimsy or whatever uh, let me know down in the comments because I'm looking for a new perfume. Also in here I have my, uh, this is my back combing or teasing comb. I got this from Sally's Beauty Supply and uh, I always carry this. I bought an extra one to put in my purse. So I always have, like I literally have teasing combs and brushes all over the place, like in my office. I have one in my bathroom, one in my car. And normally I'll keep like a little travel hairspray, but honestly my hair is basically like a troll at this point. Uh, so anyways, that's that and that's it in my bag, but I wanted to show you the inside So inside of the bag you can see it's all red and all leather So it's really easy to keep this looking nice and brand new because you can just wipe it down But yeah, so that was what was in my bag and a little review of the Teddy Blake Eliza Vitello 12 inch bucket bag and uh, Love it so excited to keep using this uh, and yeah, don't forget if you wanted to enter the giveaway, I will have all the information down in the description box for you just in case after watching this, you're like, what do I need to do again? I'll have all that down in the description for you. Also, if you're shopping over on Teddy Blake and you're interested in this handbag or anything else on the website, we'll have linked down in the description box as well. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed seeing what was in my bag and how I organize it. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. Say hey, ghoul, hey down in the comments because you know I love talking to you. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.